Hi everyone, it's Anis here and welcome to this week's episode from Park City, Utah. Today we're checking out this newly constructed architectural masterpiece right behind me and this home is unlike anything we have ever toured on this channel. The amenities, the fit and finish, the architectural lines, it is a truly stunning property and I'm really excited to share it with all of you. Now, specs of the home, we have seven bedrooms, 11 bathrooms, 17,567 square feet of interior space built on a five acre lot and this home is listed for $42 million which makes this property the most expensive home on the market in the state of Utah. As always you can find more information about this listing in the description of this video so make sure to check that out and before we start our tour I want to thank the developer Illuminous Group and the listing agent Paul Benson for allowing us to tour their amazing listing. And now let's begin. The colony in White Pine Canyon in the heart of Park City, Utah is not only the most exclusive neighborhood in Park City, but arguably the most exclusive ski in, ski out neighborhood in North America. 4,600 acres, 90% open space, absolutely beautifully designed to take in nature and wildlife at its best. And hands down, this is the best home I have ever had the privilege of representing in Utah. House is located in the exclusive gated community known as the Colony at White Pine Canyon and from the street level we have this long private driveway bringing us to this five acre estate and as you're driving in you're surrounded with beautiful trees, landscaping, ski trails, I mean it's incredible to be here right now and we have the house right in front of us. I'm going to start our tour with this covered section right here. Split face limestone columns frames this entry. We have a skylight above us surrounded with copper details that we're going to see throughout the property and coming here on our right hand side we have a heated storage area and access to your first garage. Now the reason for the heated storage area is to be able to accommodate valet parking here. That way people can come to your property, drop off their car, go to the main entry and valet can keep all the keys and everything here and on the other side we have another exterior door that goes straight to your primary bedroom with a really interesting access point or it goes down to your lower level where you have a separated guest quarters. We're going to show this section once we get to the primary bedroom as well. Now coming back here we have this covered section open up to your spacious motor court. You can easily park up to 20 cars here and from this angle you can see the most of the estate and I mean the architectural lines, the copper flashings and details, your standing seam roof, the split face limestone, walls of glass, steel case, water feature. The entry is extremely impressive and I'm gonna first bring everybody here. This is the two car garage but it actually has really high ceilings that way you can actually stack four cars here with the lifts. I love these aggressive overhangs thanks to the steel beams throughout the property and again we have the copper details also here which gives this home a very timeless look and speaking of copper details look at this retaining wall here I think this is the most beautiful retaining wall we have ever seen on this channel the scale the organic copper patina it just looks so great I don't know it just gives this house a very unique look now Going to this side, we have an additional two car garage with another overhang detail. Even the flashings around the garage is copper. I'm sorry, I'm going to use the word copper probably 200 times today. I just loved, love that material. And uh, again, split face limestone all around. We have an access door to the other side. And coming here, you have another entry point to the property that takes you to a long hallway and towards your gym. 
And coming back to this side, we have the main entry, two water features on each side, setting the mood, complemented with the fire features, which looks amazing at night. Another overhang detail, and we have the front door right here. And now, let's go inside. Here we are at the entry. We got this gorgeous door with reeded details, massive built-in handle, two glass panes on each side. And since we're inside, I'm gonna take off my jacket and continue our tour from there. This entry is so impressive. First off, I wanna talk about the floors. We have eight different stones with different finishes from the same quarry inlaid with bronze and it just looks gorgeous. On our right hand side, we have the office and the primary bedroom, which we're gonna check out later in the video. And now I wanna bring everybody here to this two story spacious atrium. We have walls of glass facing the mountains and the ski trails. Right above us, glass roof assembly, bringing ton of natural light to the entry of this home. And right in the center, we got this stunning chandelier application. This is also your main staircase going down to the lower level. And we got another one that we're gonna see later. And just the details here, the metal work, the leather wrap, and each one of these stair steps or the threads are actually solid limestone. They each weigh 600 pounds and it brings you to a landing where you have an onyx water feature. List goes on and on and on. Stunning entry. It's incredible. I just wanna say, as we're walking through this house, it reminded me of this when we said, when you brought up the chandelier, but every single fixture, every single chandelier, pretty much everything in this house is fully custom. So you can't find these anywhere. Uh, they've done a fantastic job. House is gorgeous. Yeah. One of our favorite homes ever. Yeah. And another detail here, we have hemlock wood paneling that goes all the way to the outdoors, which basically connects all these ceilings together and just uniforms the architectural details of this home. And we're gonna talk about a lot of details in this tour. This is not gonna be a short one. Now, let's go this way. We have this door opening up to a powder room. Beautiful marble floors, and the same marble was also used for the countertop, sink, and back wall. And Mikey, let's get a close up right here. This is a Shoshiki Ban applied wood pieces or mosaic pieces that we have on this wall. The texture, the detail, the character, this wood paneling gives is, is super cool. It's like a puzzle almost. Absolutely. It's also applied on the ceiling. We've got this gorgeous light fixture. This is a plaster mirror detail and you have a fancy wall mounted toilet here. It's just a powder room. It's just the beginning. Now getting out right in front of us, we have the former living room. This is an incredible room with walls of glass, bringing a ton of natural light on each side, exposed steel columns throughout, which again goes with the lines of the property. And right in the center of the formal living room, we have the seating area. Now we have never seen a seating setup or section like this before. This is fully custom for the house. It costs the developer $140,000 and you can literally sit or lay down anywhere you want here and it gets better. This section also doubles up as your home theater and we have these Steinway and Leindorf speakers built into the I-beams and throughout the room which serves as your surround sound and you have the projector there and on this side you have a 200 inch drop down screen and that way you can just sit down here, relax, lay down, watch a movie. Awesome spot. Yeah, I really like this couch. Yes, I know. This is one of Mikey's favorite details complemented with a fireplace. You have a Shoshiki Ban uh, coffee table. Details, details, details. All right, I'm coming right where you are, Mikey. Let's continue our tour. We have these sliding glass doors that are motorized on the other side, opening up to a wraparound balcony, gorgeous chandelier above us, Stangway and Sons piano, which just frames this corner so beautifully. And if you wanna separate this formal living room area from the kitchen, you actually have these motorized pocket doors sealing off this section, creating perfect separation. Now going in here, we have the butler's pantry and the office for the kitchen. You have all this oak cabinetry, corset countertops, storage areas, and right on the other side, we have the office section, but even this part comes with a sink, dishwasher, uppers, beautiful window facing the views, your desk setup, everything you need, and it actually connects to the kitchen through this opening here as well. I was wondering, what is that What is that used for? Let's say someone is cooking in the kitchen, they're serving food and you're using this as like your service countertop. Ah, you can just access it easily. That makes sense. Absolutely. Now coming in here, we have the kitchen. 
Now, this is without a doubt one of my favorite kitchens we have ever toured on this channel. The cabinetry, countertops, backdrop, appliances. There are so many details here. I'm gonna try to show you guys every single one of them. First overview, you have two islands. One of them is a fully custom appliance, basically. Oak cabinetry throughout, quartzite countertops, and this one in particular is called Patagonia Quartzite, and I think it's one of the most beautiful stones I've ever seen in my life. I mean, take a look at it right here. It looks like quartzite and marble mixed together. The cuts, the lines, the veins, it's just insane. Is it's this, just insane. Is this natural? It is natural. I don't even understand how it's possible. How it's possible, right? Yeah. It is stunning. All right, Mikey, let's take everybody here first. We have these oak hardwood floors where you have blocks of wood cut up, leveled up, and joined together. So much character on the floors. And coming back up, you have your first Miele built-in appliances, warming drawer on the bottom. This is that opening that we just talked about. Oak cabinetry throughout, some open shelving here, and this is your first base section of your cabinets. You have two sliding windows that pockets into the wall, opens up the countertop to the outside bar. That way you can serve food and drinks to your balcony here and massive commercial sink, two faucets, same quartzite countertops. And some parts of this cabinetry has that reeded grit detail. So much character. I mean, your first meal dishwasher, let's have a quick look. You have your second one right here, more open shelving. And this section actually kicks out with a waterfall edge. And now let's talk about this piece right here. This is one of my favorite details we have ever seen in any house. This is a single piece appliance built by a company called Marone out of Italy. And it looks absolutely gorgeous. We have all these storage areas down below, knobs, details. I love this baby blue color. And Mikey, let's get a close up. That's a plug cover right there. Interesting. And why don't you actually go to the other side and I'll come right here. You have everything you need within this assembly. You have a gas cooktop, you have wok, you have pot filler, induction cooktop, teppanyaki grill, regular grill, knobs, details, and a commercial vent above. This is amazing. Yeah, this is uh, really cool. And everything has custom pans for it as well, right? Look at this. They dial you in with every detail you need. Custom built for this assembly. It's, by the way, priced at $90,000, and I think it's worth every single penny. Now, coming here, we have the second island, same quartzite countertops, sink, oak cabinetry, and we have the bar seating on the other side. And, Mikey, let's actually go this way. We also have a skylight above, by the way, bringing natural light. And look at the cabinetry here. Can we get a close-up? Every bit of space is so well utilized. We have another cabinetry here with a built-in oven, warming drawer, and this, I believe, is the Mila freezer. There you go. Pizza oven right in the center. You literally have everything in this kitchen. I love these gorgeous bronze handles that are built into the cabinetry. Your regular Mila fridge. And I don't even know what this one is. Espresso maker. You're, I'm uh, glad I opened it. Yeah, you got to have that. I would be... Uh... I really wouldn't want to cook in this kitchen. It looks so nice. Like I would, <laughs> I can't imagine getting oil on that. Uh, on that. Morone uh, gas stove. That's right. Yeah. I mean, beautiful, beautiful kitchen. I think they did a ten out of ten job here. I cannot literally critique them on anything else. It looks stunning. Now coming here, we have the family room and the formal dining room area. This room is framed with this custom Sherling rug, and I'm going to start our tour with the formal dining room area. We got this gorgeous three-inch cast glass table with 24 karat Japanese gold leaf underneath. That looks stunning. Walls of glass opens up to the wraparound balcony, which we're gonna check out in a bit. And right on top, we have this chandelier application lighting up this room and this part of this house. Now, right next door, we have the family room with this built-in seating, French lacquer coffee table right in the center. And just like the outside, we have a fire feature right around the corner here, closing up this space. Beautiful pop of color with the chairs and seats. It's just another great spot. And in this limestone wall, we actually have a pop-up TV. That way you can enjoy the TV on this side as well. Now, coming back here, we have this entertainment section. But before we go there, I actually want to bring everybody to this hallway. Now, this is the hallway that brings you from the entry straight to this area. And look at this copper clad wall. I mean, I just love this copper detail where they all overlap and connect each other. So much character. 
reflects the light and we have the same hemlock ceiling details also here. Now, before we go to the entertainment area, I wanna actually turn everybody this way. We have the secondary staircase here, zero deflection, bringing you down to the lower level and the entire staircase is covered with this plaster detail, built-in hand railing, and you have a massive steel case picture window here, bringing natural light to the space. Now, coming this way, we have the same rift oak hardwood floors also here, and this is your entertainment room. Now, normally, in this space, they're gonna have a pool table and a ping pong table custom built for this house, but unfortunately, they haven't received them yet, and I wanna mention this home is about 98% complete. Thanks to the developer and listing agent, Paul Benson, we're getting this exclusive access and uh, we're just really excited to share this one with you guys. Yeah, and as we walk around, you all see just little details like the landscaping might not be 100%, they're still waiting for the snow to melt. Uh, the rooms might not be fully furnished in every single space, but uh, we couldn't wait to get out here and tour it, so we flew from LA and it's still a stunning property. It's still, it's still, yeah, one of the one of my favorite places I've ever seen. Absolutely. And coming back to the entertainment area, we have the chandelier above us, sliding glass doors open up to the outdoors, and on this side we have the bar area. I love the dual elevation with the countertops, bar seating, shoshigiban detail that we saw at the exterior. They have it also in the interior. And coming in, Mikey, why don't you meet me on the other side? Look at this. I mean. Same quartzite countertops, sink, dishwasher, ice maker, refrigerated drawers, everything you need here. And if you come to this section, this one is actually a pop-up bar where you keep your fancy bottles or expensive bottles. It's just a nice feature. Yeah, and uh, we haven't mentioned it yet, but everything in this home is basically controlled with a mobile application. So. Uh, yeah, Savant Home Automation. Savant system, yeah. So if you want to uh, control any of, any, pretty much any of the features, any of your doors, any of these pop-ups, uh, you can do it from your phone. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, bar is complemented with this 100-inch TV. We have two wine cellars on each side, which in total holds up up to 1,000 bottles. And coming back, I want to actually talk about this section right here. First off, really cool ceiling mount swing chair here. And the sides are actually the same Patagonia quartzite that we saw at the kitchen or the bar. And looking above, we have these clear story windows, steel case glass on this side, exposed columns, Shoshigiban complemented with the hemlock wood paneling. Gorgeous, really, just a really beautiful nice. home. Yeah, Beautiful home. All right, Mikey, let's take everybody this way. This is that secondary entry point that we talked about it. It's located right next to the second garage and come in here, we have this hallway taking us to a laundry room or the utility room and the gym. And by the way, look at your view. Copper clad ceilings that goes all the way to your indoor outdoor pool. Super cool. We'll see that in a second. In a second, in a second. All right, let's go check out this room. This is a great multi-purpose room that can be utilized in many ways. We have the same oak cabinetry also here. And on this side, we have a small kitchenette. You have the fridge and freezer here, built-in appliances, warming drawer on the bottom, Miele induction cooktop, sink, and a commercial dishwasher. On the other side, we have the laundry section with two washers and dryers, countertop, doggy wash, and you even have an access to a doggy door here because it opens up this small patio space for your pet, which is just a cool little detail. And you have so much storage, coat hangers, island in the center that you can have caterers out of here. You can have a staff that works in this home work out of here. There's many applications. You have a door opening up to one of the two car garages and uh, just a great space. Mm -hmm. You can do a lot with it. Now, let's go back to the hallway. I just love this picture frame here where you have your indoor outdoor pool. But now we're gonna go through these pocket doors to check out the gym. This gym wraps around the pool area, and on my right-hand side, we have this mirror wall with TV and tonal, carpet flooring, built-in storage, and going to this side, we have some of your gym equipment here, and again, they're putting some of the final touches here and missing some of the gym equipment. Now, focusing back here, glass wall facing your pool, and in fact, Mikey, why don't we go this way, take everybody to the pool area, really cool space, and going in, right in front of me, we have the cold dip, all stainless steel, so it's leak proof. And on this side, we have a single piece stainless steel indoor outdoor pool that looks so modern and chic. 
It has a pool cover as well. And more importantly, we have this section where we have a hydraulic door opening up and actually going all the way up to the ceiling that way you can truly open up this space. And of course the pool is heated so you can enjoy it year round. This is awesome. Yeah, you're gonna have to elaborate on single piece for everybody. Oh, good, good question uh, or good point. So they actually crane this pool in two pieces. Imagine welding the entire walls, floor, staircase, and they have one seam right in the center where they did it on site. So imagine craning this piece in, putting it, placing it, and uh, connecting the seam in the center. That way it's fully leak proof. You don't have to worry about plaster and all that. Yeah. And it just goes with the architectural lines of this home. Yeah, so for those that don't know, installing a plaster pool can be a massive headache because it's almost impossible to get them not to leak eventually. But this is a single piece of metal, so it's pretty much impossible for it to leak unless someone punches a hole through it. So we've never seen this before. Absolutely. Looks great. Buy a shelf at the end. Amazing pool area. And in fact, why don't we continue our tour in the spa? This glass door opens up to your steam shower, glaze tiles throughout, rain head above, and we have this glass door opening up to your infrared sauna on this level. And right across, we have a full bathroom. Again, walk-in shower, toilet, vanity setup. And I just love this color change and angles with the glaze tiling all around. Yeah. Now, coming back out, we have this door opening up to the backyard. But before we go there, I actually wanna take everybody to the floor above us, which is a massage room with a backlit salt block wall. And the floor above that takes us to the third floor, which is the highest point of this estate. And you have this awesome room here, glass walls throughout. This room literally feels like an observation deck. And you have a built-in seating here, coffee table, fireplace right in the center, and it even comes with a wet bar, same old cabinetry, your sink, countertop, refrigerator, ice maker, and this one, let's see, is a pop-up bar. How cool is this? Yeah, it's really cool. This whole place kind of reminds me of a, like a fire watch, like a tower or like a ranger station. Exactly. So, uh, I, I think that must have been the design influence was these old like fire watchtowers that they have in forests, but it's I'm, really cool. I mean, look at our views, Mikey. Let's in go fact, look at them. We're gonna take everybody outside. One more detail, right above us, drop down TV. They literally thought of everything. All right, let's go check out the wraparound balcony. I mean, look at these views. So peaceful, so tranquil, so calming. And uh, let's take everybody here. I'm gonna wrap around. You have walkways here and during the summer, these are great mountain biking trails. And this is the backside of the property. You literally have no neighbors here. So private, five acres, even though it's all open. Again, you like no privacy here. And these windows are all casements so you can open them up, get fresh air as well. And this is the estate. That's the motor court that we toured earlier. Scale of the property is incredible. We have so much snow on the roof right now. And keep in mind, when they design these homes in these kind of climates, they have to really beef up their structure to accommodate this much weight on the roof. And we're back here. Down below us, we have the backyard. In fact, let's go check that out. All right, so we have this steel glass door opening up from the hallway of the spa and it takes you to your backyard. Right in front of us, we have this stainless steel hot tub. Looks very inviting. You have a fire feature right across from it. And it's a very private and secluded corner here. You have some outdoor lounging chairs. And around the corner, you have your main indoor outdoor pool. This is the Baja shelf section. You have a nice overhang detail above it. And just look at this copper fascia detail. It is exposed to the elements and is just getting this natural patina. It looks gorgeous. And by the way, that's the third floor that we were on earlier. And now let's continue our tour with the backyard. Staircase takes you down to the lower level. We're gonna see that in a bit. And following this walkway, it takes us to more outdoor lounging areas. Right across from us, we have the sliding glass doors opening up from the entertainment room and they're planning to have an outdoor dining area here. Those are the chairs, but they're missing the table. I wanted to mention that. You have some built-in drawers here, countertop, and this bridge design takes you to the other side of the wraparound balcony. 
you have an outdoor seating area here, scenery looks breathtaking. I mean, trees, mountains, ski slopes. I'm out of work. Yeah, it's so nice. This is our first winter episode this season. Correct, this yeah. year. We had to get one in before uh, the winter ended. We had to go one snowy location, so. And I think we did pretty well. Yeah, yeah, we did, this is great. Gorgeous home. You have an outdoor barbecue area here, everything you need. You have a gas stove, and these are the sliding glass doors opening up from your family room and the dining area. Now I wanna take everybody to the front side of the property. This is the sliding glass doors from the dining area. Perfect indoor outdoor flow. We have limestone floors throughout. And Mike, why don't we walk this way actually? I wanna talk about the views for a second. You have the ski and ski out access down below us. And just look outside, I mean, it's so breathtaking. It looks unreal. It looks like a movie. And we have the bar countertop off of the kitchen here. The same copper cladding that we're seeing throughout, they use it on this side as well. And again, I just love the interlocking and overlapping. It just looks so timeless, so rich in character. And that's your outdoor seating area off of your formal living room. Now, I wanna come back to the views for a second. Again, when you buy a property like this, you buy it because of your surroundings, but more importantly, you buy it because you can take advantage of the outdoors and really live this Park City lifestyle. One of my favorite things about this house is the beauty of the neighborhood and its surroundings. White Pine Canyon is surrounded by the Park City Ski Resort, and as you drive up to the property, you can see the whole of 5,000 acre development, as well as people skiing and snowboarding on terrain for all experience levels. For someone who's accustomed to living in the mountains, this may seem normal. But for us, it was an amazing experience to travel from Los Angeles and get a glimpse of the lifestyle of such an iconic resort town. And that's it for Park City and this wing of the main floor. Now I wanna jump back to the entry of this home so we can continue our tour with the office and the primary bedroom suite. We have this door opening up to a large coat closet that can hold up to 150 coats. It is designed to accommodate big events wanted to mention that and we have this pocketing door opening up to the office this is one of my favorite rooms in the house ton of details here i'm going to do my best to cover them all first let's talk about this curved built-in desk setup here with the reeded cabinetry details love the countertop this is where you sit down relax and take care of some business now on the back we have this wall paneling detail that starts on lighter tones and as it gets closer to the ceiling it transforms to this dark blue wood paneling on the ceiling, clear story windows above, and we have these built-in bookshelves, two comfortable chairs, fireplace around the corner with built-in seating. Mike, I forgot a detail. You have a wet bar here with a refrigerator drawer, just a cozy office. And now let's continue our tour. We have these sliding glass doors opening up to a private balcony dedicated for the office in the primary bedroom suite. And this hallway takes you to that sky bridge that we show off of the entry. Now coming here, we have this door opening up to the primary bedroom suite. Every part of this home feels very cozy and intimate, but this primary bedroom takes that feeling to a next level. The custom furniture here, finishes, textures, details, everything about it feels so elevated, so exquisite. I mean, I can only imagine laying down here, going to sleep, looking at these mountain views. Everything just looks stunning. I guess let's start with the best setup here. Pop-up TV, and they use same oak cabinetry for the frame of the bed. We have the king-size bed here, and the headboard design is fabricated out of travertine, which creates a nice contrast. And behind it, you have a small desk area. Now, Mikey, we need a close-up. These small tubes provide supplemental oxygen. You have a nice light fixture above, wood paneling throughout, that's the fireplace. We have some open shelving here as well. And I forgot this, Mikey, can we turn around? I know we've been doing this a lot, but uh, look at this ceiling mount chair here. In fact, let me take a seat. I mean, I wouldn't have any problem just sitting down here, relaxing. That looks comfortable. It is very comfortable. And uh, one more detail, of course. Look at these views. It feels so different. Like coming from LA, it just immediately calms you down. And uh, amazing location. Yeah. Now, Mikey, can we turn to this side before we leave the room? We have this Venetian plaster wall and each one of these are hand blown and screwed into the wall to create a nice texture on this backdrop. Looks great. 
and let's take everybody to the primary bathroom. Travertine floors, travertine walls, vanity set up here, freestanding tub right in the center. This bathroom is so stunning, so many details here. And I guess let's start covering the freestanding tub. This is a wooden freestanding tub, was built by a yachting company out of Maine, and it looks gorgeous right in the center. And the same travertine floors actually continues up to the wall, all the way to the ceiling. We have the same wood paneling above us, which really warms up the space. And we have these two glass doors opening up to the water closets. In fact, Mikey, let's have a quick look on this one. Steel case with reeded glass. And this is your water closet. It automatically opens up and they have the wood cladding here. It literally feels like a cabin inside. Now, coming here, let's go have a look at the walk-in shower. Travertine clad all around, body sprays on the left, rain head above, your regular shower head, handheld. And can we get a close up on these fixtures? Look at this stone top. I mean, steam detail. So tasteful, you have the built-in bench. I love it. I love the shower. I really like the shower also. I feel like we see a lot of showers on this channel that are just absolutely massive. And it's really not necessary. I feel like this is like the perfect size. This primary bedroom suite, it's not the biggest, but it feels very intimate. It just feels very warm, you know? Yeah. All right, let's close this door and continue our tour with the vanity design here. Two sinks, same travertine throughout. We have these ceiling mount mirrors with built-in TVs. And look at your backdrop. You have a casement window there. Look at the view. I mean, so peaceful and relaxing. And these subtle details, your built-in, let's see, this one opens up built-in handles, towel racks, medicine cabinets. Take a look at this. Look how many hinges they had to put because it's so heavy. It was a stone clad. Exactly. I mean, it just, I don't know. Oh, so we have the oak cabinetry, right? Read the details. They use the same oak material for the tops of these uh, faucet handles. I mean, who has details so dialed in like this, you know? Stunning, and I'm looking around to see if I'm missing any details. I think that's it for the primary bathroom. And actually, one more thing. This home also has Delos Darwin home wellness system, which regulates circadian rhythm lighting, monitors and calibrates indoor air quality, filters pollutants, and improves water quality by removing impurities and contaminations. It is literally there to make you a healthier person, and it's pretty awesome. Yeah, I believe this is the third property we've toured that has had Delos. Yes, we yeah. toured one in Newport Beach. One in Newport Beach. And one in Hollywood Hills. That's right, that's right, yeah. Well, it's, they're hard to find, so. They're definitely not cheap either. Yeah. So this home has it. And now let's continue our tour with the primary bedroom closet. This closet is so spacious. Millwork goes all the way up to the ceiling and every bit of space is so well utilized. Gets ton of natural light. We have a small base cabinetry here with a glass top and travertine countertops. That way you can pull out the drawers or see what you have in them. Coming back to this section, a lot of open shelving, LED lighting, drawer setups, and I wanna talk about a really interesting detail here. We mentioned it earlier at the motor court. We have an exterior door coming straight to the primary bedroom. We have a sensor here. And Mike, you ready for this? I love a secret door. I mean, that is a secret door, right? And we have the stairs taking us right here. That's the door, and that's the elevator access going down to the guest quarters. That way, you can have the housekeeper or house manager there going down to their uh, part of the home without even having to go through the entire estate. Super cool. What a detail. I wanted to mention that. Now, cabinetry continues. We have, let's see, washer and dryer around the corner here, stack design, which is a nice convenience for the primary bedroom. Again, ton of storage, open shelving, closets, and it actually extends out to this side where we have more drawers, hangers, everything you need. Beautiful primary bedroom closet. Now, that wraps our tour on the main floor and the floors above. Now I wanna take everybody back to the staircase so we can check out the lower level. In a ski home, when you absolutely nail the right design element, you're trying to find that combination where a couple can come up on a weekend and really have the intimacy of enjoying a home that doesn't feel too overwhelming. So it is a romantic getaway. But at the same time, when you have guests that join you, you wanna be able to entertain those guests in style. 
So as we go into the lower level of this home, you're going to experience a bowling alley, a sport court. Every single in-suite has indoor-outdoor living. This is a resort that still has the intimacy upstairs to feel amazing for a couple. Now let's check out this floor. Again, staircase, beautifully designed plaster details and right in front of me, we have a single lane bowling alley, which is just so exciting. Doors will open up to five different bedrooms that we're gonna see in a bit. But first, I wanna actually bring everybody right here. We have this opening taking us to the sports simulator. This is an area where you can play all kinds of games. Again, lower level is where we have the guest bedrooms and the entertainment in this house, built-in seating, cabinetry, great space. Yeah. Hit some balls here. Yeah. Now. Coming to the landing again, we have this chair lift mounted to the ceiling here, painted in this Hermes orange color, and uh, it's super cool. Yeah, it's kind of just like an unusual little little detail, but I really like it. I mean, you have ski slopes all around you, so it's kind of appropriate. Yeah. Now, come in here, we have another pocket door, and it takes you to the locker room. We have the fireplace right in the center, built-in seating, and you have all these lockers with their own keypads. You have shoe blowers there to warm up or dry up your uh, ski boots. You have all these open racks, hangers. And can we point up to the ceiling? We have 500 skis from 60s and 70s colliding the ceiling, and uh, it just looks so cool. Yeah, we see this at a lot of uh in a lot of homes in mountain towns and around ski resorts, but I always just really like this detail. I also love that skis are from 60s and 70s, which gives us retro look. And we forgot to mention this. These lockers have names. These are all ski runs here in Park City, Utah. And uh, it's just a nice little detail. Yeah, you know? an easy way to assign out someone's locker too. There you go. Mikey, let's cover the wet bar on this side. We have a fabricated sink, refrigerator drawers, and around the corner, we have this door opening up to a small garage where you can store your mountain bikes, ATVs, ski gear. It has literally a garage door and it opens up to the space that I'm about to show to all of you. Let's quickly go outside. We have this steel case door taking us to a small patio space here. And that is literally your ski and ski out access. How cool is that? I mean, I'm gonna walk out there, Mikey. You know, my shoes are not appropriate, but screw it, I'm going out. This is literally your ski and ski out run. That's your garage door right there. Oh, it's been groomed also. I mean, you're living the dream here. How cool is this? Yeah, it's great. I really wish we could go skiing, but next time. As we were driving up here yesterday, we saw all these people snowboarding and skiing. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, like me and Mikey are kind of envying them. A little heart sick. Little, but uh, we just don't have the time to go to snowboarding right now. So we're gonna continue our tour. Yeah. Now coming in, we have again, this ski lift on our right, simulator room on our left, staircase, and we got a really special surprise for you guys here, but first, I wanna show this powder room. Look at the natural stone here, onyx clad throughout, including the fabricated sink, load the wall sconces, and we have this powder room here dedicated for the entertainment section. Now, come in here, we have this massive glass wall looking down on your sports court. In fact, let's go check that out. It starts right here, small wet bar off of the landing, elevator access, and going through this glass door, we come to the sports court. In, a, in fact, we're below the motor court right now, and this is a great spot for you to play pickleball, basketball, volleyball. You have a rock climbing wall on the other side, and this is within your home. I'm blown away. Yeah. This, is, this is out of control. This is something else. Uh, I guess it makes sense though. It snows, all, it snows half the year, so. If you're a big pickleball player, you know, gotta come down here and play. If you have the best home in Utah, you gotta have something like this. Amazing. And now let's go back to the lower level and continue our tour. Now let's talk about the bowling alley. It's awesome. You have an elevator access directly here. And uh, who doesn't want to bowl in their home? I mean, I want to. This is awesome. Yeah, this is great. I'm a terrible bowler, but I would still enjoy this. Absolutely, bring your friends down here. And uh, I just love this mural, by the way. Made in England. They've hand painted it 
on wallpaper sections and they brought it here and installed it. Looks great. Just creates, you know, the color here, the mural, it just creates a lot of excitement. There's a lot of energy here, even though it's a lower level. Yeah, I really like it. Now, I wanna bring everybody here. We have these pocket doors opening up to the first bedroom on this level. And this is where we have the bunk beds. Now we have eight bunk beds. Millwork is great. And each one of these bunk beds are queen beds. Never seen that before. I don't know if I've ever seen queen bunks. Queen bunks, right? And uh, you can easily sleep eight people here. And each one of these bedrooms have their own outdoor patios with fire pits. And around the corner, we have this opening taking us to the bathroom. Since we have eight bunk beds here, you get a lot of storage space, vanity here with three sinks. And I just love these glazed tiles that we're gonna see throughout this level in the bathrooms with the color palette, angles. It's just so fun. We have the same faucets that we saw earlier, also here, mirror details, wall sconces, and we have stunning marble floors all around this bathroom. Mikey, let's take everybody here. Again, ton of storage. This is the first wing of this bathroom, and we have the water closet and the first walk-in shower here. Again, glazed tiles throughout, so much fun, so much color. And around the corner, we have the second water closet with second walk-in shower, unique designs. I just love the design elements of this home. That's really it, you know? Now, let's bring everybody back to the bowling alley. Here's an interesting detail for everyone. These walls right next to the bowling alley are all soundproof because we have bedrooms on this level. And each one of these bedroom doors, when they close, they have a seal on the bottom that drops, which truly soundproofs these bedrooms. And let's say you have guests out here bowling, enjoying their time, they don't bother any of these bedrooms. Now, coming back here, of course you have your shoe racks, bowling balls, and we have this door opening up to the second bedroom on this level, custom carpet on the floors, king size bed on the left. I love the back wall paneling and the chandelier above. Each one of these bedrooms on this level has their own finishes and details and color palettes. Another steel case glass door opening up to another covered patio space with a fire pit. I mean, look at the views here. This is awesome. And these are lower level bedrooms. Now, coming around the corner, we have the bathroom, two sinks, marble countertops. Again, gorgeous finishes. And this bathroom comes in with a soaking tub, glazed tiles all the way around, mood lighting above, just stunning. Details are just gorgeous. Now, I wanna take everybody back outside so we can check out the third bedroom, which is right next door. And again, we're right next to the bowling alley. Hardwood floors throughout. It's a big home. We've been walking a lot today. Yeah, I feel like this has been an all day tour, but it is a massive home. It is a massive home. Welcome to the third bedroom, king size bed, more of the red tones. Again, custom furniture, built-in cabinetry. And Mikey, can we take everybody outside? Let's go check out the covered patio space. I love that each one of these bedrooms gets an outdoor space where you can have your own privacy, amazing views. Beautiful home, yeah. just a beautiful home. All right, let's go back in. Of course, this bedroom has its own bathroom. This one has more of the red tones because of the bedroom setup. And again, glazed tiles, lines cabinetry, walk-in shower, and how this marble floor goes all the way in into the bench to design, beautiful bathroom. Now, let's go back out, continue our tour. I don't even know how many rooms we toured today. And it still continues. This is a really cool area. This is where we have the Onyx water feature. We're at the bottom of the staircase off of the entry. And um, look at the details here. You have a steel case glass door opening up to a meditation garden where you can enjoy it during summer. Obviously it's covered with snow right now, but uh, another great space. And let's continue our tour. Now we have this door opening up to the guest quarters. You can close it off and kind of separate the section. Comes with two bedrooms. We have the first bedroom right here. More of the green tones, which I really like. Another king size bed, custom carpet furniture throughout and this one just like the other ones opens up to a covered patio space with its own fire pit around the corner we have the bathroom and i just love how the color palette from the bedroom goes into the bathrooms where you have these darker green glazed tiles lines marble floors so tasteful i feel like i said tasteful beautiful exquisite million times throughout the tour today i just can't help myself it's such a nice home
Yeah, I really like it as well. Awesome. Let's continue our tour. We're almost done. Let's see, we have a few storage closets here and it brings you to the living room area over the guest quarters, comes with a dining area, seating setup, fireplace, small desk on the left, and has its own good sized kitchen with a newly induction cooktop, sink, dishwasher, built-ins, even an espresso machine. And keep in mind, you can actually fully detach this section, access it from the motor court, and kind of have a little zone here if you wanted to, or have your guests totally separated from the main estate. Let's quickly have a look of this bedroom. This glass assembly here can be tinted and you can have a little bit more privacy here if needed. King size bed. Around the corner, we have a full bathroom with a walk-in shower. And coming back out, I wanna actually take everybody this way. We have this room here, opening up the utility room where we have three washers and dryers, sink set up, another door accessing to another utility room, a lot of cabinetry. And lastly, on this level, we have this hallway taking us to the elevator access. And this is the same elevator that accesses to your motor court entry where we have that door connected to the primary bedroom. And that's a full circle. Now that wraps our tour of this property, all the floors, but of course we're gonna spend a few more hours here, wait for the sun to go down so we can see this place at dusk. Now that you've had the pleasure of touring this home, I hope you will agree. The location, the design, the dream team to put it all together, the overall livability factor. This is a timeless home, but yet when you walk into a room, you absolutely feel this is something special, something you will remember. I am so honored to have been part of this. This was an amazing project. All right, everyone, that's it for the tour. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I wanna congratulate the developer, Illuminous Group, for doing such a phenomenal job with this build, with the design elements, finishes, everything about this house is stunning. And I also wanna give big thanks to the listing agent, Paul Benson and his team for flying us out here, allowing us to tour their amazing listing and share it with all of you. And as always, you can find more information about this property in the description of this video, so make sure to check that out. Lastly, if you enjoyed the tour, make sure to give us a like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next week.